This is Simon again with Drive and Fly RC. Thank you for tuning in for another episode on my SK450 quadcopter. Uh, let's just jump right in. Today we've made uh, some changes. I noticed the battery was moving around a little bit when I just had the vert or the uh, horizontal strap right here. So uh, I've also added a vertical strap um, just so the battery stays in there nice and tight and I don't have any problems with it moving around while I'm in flight because I f plan on flying it, you know, pretty fast, pretty crazy and we don't want anything to move and uh, make us flip or crash. So uh, that's the first change. Um, now what we're going to do is mount the CC3D board, uh, add a couple other little touches and then start mounting the motors. Um, and again, I'm just waiting for a few plugs. I need some bullet plugs to finish my build. Uh, as you can see, the, there's a, I need these plugs right here. Um, so make sure that uh, your ESCs, uh, when you order them, you also order enough bullet plugs or whatever plugs you're going to use to uh, complete your build so you don't have to wait like me. Um, but you can see that's in there nice and good. I've adjusted the plate so the battery is facing the right way. So um, let's just go ahead and jump right in. We'll start mounting the CC3D board and um, the motors. So here we go. I just wanted to show you my low voltage detector. There we go. So you just hook up the uh, balance cable from your battery to the low voltage detector. Once it reaches 3.3 volts, it'll set up a really loud sound. Uh, it'll let you know that you need to land your quadcopter um, and charge your battery. Okay, what we've done is uh, stuck the CC 3D board in this case. It's actually plastic. I thought it was carbon fiber, but it is plastic because I had to trim it a little bit and figured out it was plastic. Um, but anyway, that doesn't matter. Uh, now we're just going to stick the lid on and put the screws in, and then we can connect the wires. All right, now I have the CC 3D board nice and secure inside of the case. Uh, we're going to go ahead and connect the wires and then mount it. Um, as you can see, we plugged in the wires now, uh, the ones that we did yesterday coming out of the receiver into the CC3D board. And now we're going to mount it uh, again with the USB facing towards the back of the quadcopter. And we're just going to use double sided sticky tape and possibly a zip tie. Um, we might use some string to tie it off just in case it ever pops off or something. So, Okay, we've covered the whole bottom of the uh, case for the CC3D board. Um, hopefully that will provide adequate uh, vibration dampening for the board. Um, if it doesn't, we'll make some changes later on. Um, but now we're going to mount it on there just like this. And then uh, plug in the ESCs. Alright guys, now we've mounted it there. Uh, it's on there real good. Um, <clears throat> now we're going to connect the ESCs. Uh, the order in which you do so is left front, right front, right rear, left rear. You're going to do it, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, um, and what you're going to want to do is channel one here, channel two here, channel three from this one, channel four from this one. Okay, now we have uh, the ESCs mounted into the CC3D board. Um, as you can see here, uh, again, we've done it in the order that I just said, and they're plugged in. Okay, right there, um, I had some of the wires popping out, and you don't want that to happen while you're flying. So I just used a little bit of silicone in between the plastic connector and the uh, case for my CC3D board. We've cleaned up the CC3D board wires. Um, we've just used a zip tie and wrapped them up, uh, so everything's nice and tidy and it doesn't jerk around. Okay, now we have our Sunny Sky 2212 motors. We're going to go ahead and unpackage them and get them all set up and mount them on the quadcopter. Finally, they're here. Okay, what you're going to want to do is take the Sunny Sky motor and then take off the mounting plate off of the arm. And then you're just going to use the inner holes on this and use the provided screws and connect that to that. 
Okay, now you can see that we've mounted the plate to the motor itself. Um, we're going to change out these screws later, but for now they'll do just fine. Um, and, you know, you might want to use Loctite. I don't know if you should on the motor or not, but I'm not going to do it for now. I'm going to see how well they stay in after flying. Um, just make sure to keep an eye on them. Uh, now we're just going to mount it back on to the quadcopter arm. Now we have the uh, motor mounted to the quadcopter arm. We put the bolts in here and here and here and here. It's mounted on there. Really sturdy it seems like. Now we're going to put the prop adapter on the top. Okay, now make sure you stick the uh, top prop adapter on there and then tighten down these Phillips heads. Make sure they're on there nice and snug. Um, and then you'll stick the prop on and then the prop washer and then the prop nut. So <laughs> now we're going to connect the wires. Okay, there we go. Now we have all four motors mounted on here. I know you see my Mobius right there and how it's mounted. Uh, that's just temporary for like my first couple test flights. Uh, just to test and see how much vibration I'm actually going to get. And also we have uh, the antenna um, mounted like this. This is just a zip tie sticking straight up. Mounted onto the frame and then zip tied onto the zip tie. <laughs> Um, I don't have them plugged in yet because I'm still waiting for my banana connectors. So we've mounted the CC3D board and kind of cleaned up the wires. Um, also connected the ESCs to it. And then we've installed the Sunny Sky 2212 980 kilovolt motors on here with the uh, stock mounts that come with it. Not the ones that come with the motor. Stuck on the prop adapters. I'm still waiting for my props and uh, those last banana connectors before I can set up and do my uh, my final setup on uh, the ground station, which is what you use to set up the CC3D board um, to get this baby flying. Now, uh, I do want to thank you for, for watching and tuning in. I really appreciate you guys, and I have a contest coming up here uh, really soon. I'm almost to 100 subscribers, so please share my videos with your friends, and Maybe you can win something. Uh, I do want to thank uh, another YouTube YouTuber, uh, Cylon, and I'll put a link to his channel right here and also down in the description. He pretty much walked me through this entire setup um, and got me set up with a really good quadcopter at a good price. He also does some really cool stuff on his channel uh, with tricopters and quadcopters, um, and you should really go check out his content. And again, thank you for watching my channel. I really appreciate you tuning in. And you guys have a great night.